up? You've got Minecraft fever, I see. And with your big brain attitude, I have no doubt you'll be able to use today productively to discover some awesome Minecraft life hacks. Let's take a look at 15 Minecraft tricks everyone should know in Minecraft 1.16. These are essential need-to-know facts of the game. They're lessons to live by, rules to follow, and most importantly, some of the coolest tricks to help survive the hostile environments of the blocky world you're a part of. What are you waiting for, sub? Let's go! Number 1. Keeping Extra Tools now this may seem like a given to some players, but you'd be surprised to know, Sub, just how many players actually don't save additional stone and iron tools to use later, and that's super wasteful and unresourceful. In fact, a trick of the trade is to keep additional tools for later use. Only use things like your diamond pick on blocks that really matter, unless you want the durability to drain real quick. To avoid this, however, you could also get a mending enchantment, but for the most part, even throwing away broken iron and stone tools is just wrong. Instead, combine and repair them. Give them to other players who may need them. Number 2. Netherite Fake Outs Let's be honest, Sub. Some players can be annoying. Whether they're asking for materials, begging for op, or just trying to grief and kill you, it can sometimes be better to be on your own. If a player is in hot pursuit of that new netherite gear you've got, maybe consider this. Run through the nether and then throw your armor into the lava. As the player walks by, you'll appear to them to just be another noob. But once they're gone, the armor should just bob back up again, as it's completely resistant to burning. Number 3. Lava Boating Sometimes Reddit can provide us a ray of fresh sunlight and a glimpse of darkness, or in this case, a ray of lava in the nether. Players have recently discovered that when placing a boat in the lava, it actually sticks around for almost a second before being burned and destroyed. You can use this to swiftly hop over lava, but be wary. Something like this isn't as easy as a life hack. It actually takes practice and some well-timed placing. Make sure to check out the link in the description to buy mine coins for Minecraft Bedrock Edition from G2A. Number 4. Logout Blocking and so what? Maybe you don't have any boats on you. Perhaps you have no fire resistance potions and are drowning in lava. Well, never fear, because you can simply log out of the game and avoid all of that damage and tragic death. Uh, maybe that won't fully solve the problem, as you'll have to log back in eventually. But for a split second as you do log back in, you'll be completely invulnerable, giving you enough time to swim up a bit, then leave the game again, repeating the process until you can make your way to safety. This can even be done to avoid taking drowning damage, but you have to be quick, and it's a pretty cheesy method of cheating death. You know what isn't cheating, though? Subscribing to Subs World to get notifications every time we upload a new video. We've been receiving some massive support recently, and we all really appreciate it, don't we, Sub? Number 5. Animal Farming while reaching diamond or even netherite gear may take some time, when you finally have it, you won't want to lose it. And this means decking each piece out with maximum enchantments, ensuring they're all fully stacked. If you haven't died a whole bunch, then by this point you should have quite a good amount of XP leveled up, almost 30 to 50 levels. But it's best to stop once you hit about 30 because after that it takes far too long to level, and you can't spend more than 30 levels per enchantment anyway. You may as well enchant something and then start saving up for the next 30 levels from scratch instead. And the quickest way to do that? Create a mob farm! Breeding them, waiting for them to grow, and killing hundreds of cows and chickens will be a surefire way to exponentially boost your XP earning and gain you some supplementary resources. Number 6. Extra Wool Shearing Hey, I see you're collecting some wool there by killing sheep. Lots of dyed colors of wool for every build you want to do. But have you ever considered that you could be getting more bang for your buck? Instead of beating up sheep for wool and then shearing it, sub, dye the sheep first and then shear it, providing two to three extra pieces of dyed wool, all for just one dye. Number 7. The Drown Survivor 
When times are tough and you're cornered by enemies, you may consider taking a dive. It's one thing to have a water breathing potion, but if you have no way to stop yourself from losing air bubbles, consider this neat little trick. Swim as far down to the bottom of the sea floor as possible, then dig yourself a small hole and block yourself in. Crouch in order to hide your nameplate and drop a few items so they float up to the surface, giving the appearance that you drowned. Number 8. Lava Stopper one of the most dangerous things in the game, all players need to know how to deal with lava. And in the nether, you should know that lava moves much quicker, basically the same speed that water does in the overworld. But I bet you didn't know that it's now possible to get fire resistance potions easily by trading with piglins. Just hope you get lucky. Number 9. TNT Mining the Nether is a wasteland of mass destruction, so adding a little more destruction won't hurt. Luckily, this next method will help you easily find and mine the rarest resource in the game, ancient debris, which can be turned into netherite. By crafting a whole bunch of TNT, you can line them up, keeping at least a little space between each block before igniting them all. Ensuring you do this in a low-level cave and with luck, any nearby ancient debris will be revealed. Have you used this method to find ancient debris before? Have you ever found netherite legitimately? If so, make sure to like this video. I need to see all those likes to make sure we we have real, true Minecraft pros watching the channel. You're not a noob, are you? Number 10. Dolphin Hook have you ever tried swimming near a dolphin sub? There's a few now. While swimming near one may provide you with dolphin's grace, a status effect that lets you swim faster, did you know you can actually get multiple dolphin's grace status effects at once? That's right, you could have a whole pack of dolphins following behind, boosting you along and pointing out treasure. Number 11, Bedrock Speed Bridging. Here's a fun one for you. In the bedrock version of Minecraft, you can actually place blocks ahead of you without needing to crouch and look over the face you want to extend. This means that mini games like Bed Wars are a whole lot more hectic. You'll find some strategic masterminds on bedrock who are able to speed bridge incredibly fast, reaching other players' islands in mere seconds. This mechanic would be super cool in Java 2, I think. What about you guys? Number 12. The Torch Method Ah, I see you're lost in a cave, sub. Well, never fear, because I have an excellent trick to never get lost in caves. From the moment you enter, only place torches on one side of the cave, like the left. Then, when it comes to escaping, you can start laying down torches on the opposite side as you track your way back. Knowing not to go down any cave where torches are on both sides, you'll eventually find the entrance to the winding labyrinth of caves you stumbled down. Number 13. Sponge Dryer Sponges are an old block that were removed long ago, but as of the aquatic update, were reintroduced, and the only place to find them is the Sea Temple. If they soak up water, they get all wet and need to be dried out again before being used, but luckily, that can be done instantly when placing them in the nether. Number 14. The Trading Hall any good player needs to learn the tricks of the trade, and sometimes that literally means trading. A trading hall is the name given to the buildings or containment units used to house many villagers. The idea is that you can change various profession blocks to alter the villagers' trade items. You can also breed more villagers if you need an entire reset. Keeping all these guys together instead of scattered around the village and exposed to the elements means you can make careful, calculated trade decisions and make the most for your buck. Have you made a good trade with a villager before? What video would you like to see next? Are there any Minecraft tips and tricks we've missed? Make sure to let us know in the comment section. Number 15. Portal Life Hack. Here's a fun little trick to end the video, more related to building this time, sub. Everyone loves a good nether portal, especially since the 1.16 update. But one thing I always see, and I mean always, is players building portals like this. You do all realize that you can build portals like this, one block into the ground, and that way you don't have to do the annoying jump every time. You can literally just walk right into the nether. A quick and easy solution to an ugly and annoying problem. And that's a wrap. 
15 epic and witty Minecraft tricks that everyone's gonna have to figure out at some point in Minecraft. One thing is for sure, you're good at spotting these sub, and if people want to see more awesome Minecraft tips and tricks, they should make sure they're subscribed. And another subs video wouldn't hurt. Check one out now!